Yeah. Wait, we're doing a welcome back, or are you just jumping in? I was just going to leave that up to you. You started leaning forward, so I was like, go for it. <clears throat> welcome back, everybody, to the last episode of Interfectorum. Again. Hello, darling. I see you've returned. You seem a bit calmer. Care to chat? Um... Oh yeah, we just have to ask all three anyway. Mm. Who are you? As I told you before, my name is Isa. Long story short, I am a serpent spirit. And that means... A snake demon. Makes sense, I guess. But why were you wrapped around me? You put on Solana's necklace, correct? Yeah. That charm makes its wearer able to see their own and other souls along with certain supernatural entities. Supernatural. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> so, you were wrapped around my soul? Clever girl. Why are you here? Well, that's a loaded question. And this is a loaded gun. Just answer the stupid question. No need to get snippy. Well, I'm actually the spirit of a murderer from this area a long time ago. Unfortunately, my life was cut short after the authorities found me. Found out. Fortunately, I was reincarnated as a serpent spirit. After the nymph asked me to possess a soul, I found you. Hmm. What's going on? What happened to everyone? Alice, have you really not figured it out? No. Naive one are we. Hmm. You remember that nymph gave you water, correct? Yeah. That nymph is a cohort of mine. When you consumed the water, you swallowed me as well. I was then able to absorb part of your soul and control you. No. Yes, I was able to control you, but only for short periods of time. Your sister's murder, the sheriffs, Solana and Dr. Medicus, the rest of the town. That was all you, dear. Oh my god, it was me all along. Hey, don't talk. take all of the, my credit. Why me? Well, you just happened to walk into the forest. It was a coincidence, really. That's not fair. Life isn't fair, my friend. It's true. You sure have a lot of questions. No, just the three. Is that all? No. no. Actually, I do have a couple more questions. No, God. Oh, hey! We have a that's all choice. Wait, so if this necklace allows its wearer to see you, why didn't Solana say anything? Because she didn't see me. Well, that's dumb. Hmm? I said it allows you and others. The nymph taught me how to hide from Solana. It works well, but pretty draining. By the time you put the necklace on, I was too tired to hide myself for any longer. That... that's cheating! How? There are no rules about possession. Maybe so, but you still cheated. What's your motive? Why are you doing this? Glad you ask. The nymph and I are trying to get more ghosts to be our servants. Why? Wouldn't you want, like, to never have to lift a finger for the rest of your life? That does sound nice, but not if it means people dying. We'll have to agree to disagree, I guess. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're asking. It feels more fair somehow. What do you mean? None of this is fair. The way I see it, killing you without giving you an answer is just cruel. This is all cruel. 
Why do you only draw the line there? I'm not so less... Sure seems like it. Alright, how do I get Sally and the others back? But Alice, why would you want to do that? Don't you see? I got rid of them for you. Why would you want to undo my hard work? Because I care about them. Don't you see? You've come into my life and completely destroyed it. And you expect me to be grateful? What's your problem? I... I don't have a problem. I'm helping you. How are you helping me? <coughs> Second of many. No one cares about you. They say they do and then they throw you to the wolves. Human kindness is just a myth. People only care about themselves. I've done you a favor. Now you don't have to deal with that. None of that is true. Oh my god. You have some issues. No, I don't. I'm telling the truth. Hey, listen to me. <laughs> what would we be tossing? An eclair. Oh. It's built contents for with snake skin, but it is too thick to penetrate. Hey. Hey, Alice! It's a- Oh my god! What? What's wrong? Oh my god! Get out! It's not safe here! Are you hurt? Is that your blood? We're not leaving you! Uh, no! Just get out! It's really not safe for you here! If it's not safe for us, it's not safe for you! Now, what's going on? Just... Where's the necklace? Um, right here. <clears throat> this necklace? Isaiah picks up the necklace. Oh, oh my god! What is that thing? Okay, so basically this demon was controlling me and made me kill everyone. Really? Yes, I took control of Alice and... <laughs> hey! Shut up! You killed everyone and dragged Alice into it? That's not fair. You should be ashamed of yourself. Bites head off. Right. Why do you care? I don't think there should be an exclamation point. He's angrily asking. Well, there should still be a question mark. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? If I care about Alice and I don't like seeing her or anyone else hurt. I care about her too. You also killed the entire town. You won't get away with this. Who's gonna do anything besides us three about a demon snake? God. Demon hawk. <laughs> demon hawk. I'm sorry, us four. Oh, yeah, Moshi. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Leave right now so I can deal with Alice. We're not leaving Alice. If you want to get to her, you'll have to go through us. Yeah! I... I don't understand. Either way, good luck trying to stop me. I doubt any of you are strong enough to even make a dent in my health. Again, I love how he mentioned that. Yeah. Health rather than like a dent in my skin or scale. Whatever. Yeah. Or penetrate my skin. Flesh. Hmm. Wait! I say it! The necklace! Hmm? Huh? Hey, wait, don't! Crush it. Do it. Do it, kill you. No! I should have pulled up Darth Vader yelling now. <laughs> no! <laughs> There's an actual website where you can type that <coughs> and go there and all it is is press the button and then you see like a gif of that happening. That doesn't surprise me. Oh! She's awake! Alice, are you alright? Mm. That is not what I thought that said at first. <laughs> what happened? How much do you remember? 
everything up to you stomping on the necklace. Oh, that's good. No amnesia. You just fainted and that snake like glitched out. What? It just sort of glitched out of existence. And now there's this ghost girl? Oh. How long was I out? Not long. Five minutes tops. So you guys just stood around for five minutes? Were we supposed to do something? I guess not. Who is that girl over there? I don't really... I don't actually know. She just kind of showed up. When Isaiah broke the necklace, that demon snake thing disappeared and she was in its place. She doesn't seem dangerous. She looks more confused than anything. But we decided to wait for you before talking to her. Why? I'm just as confused as you guys. Continue? Ash or Isaiah or continue? Ash? Yeah? That was really cool. <laughs> Punching the snake, I mean. Oh, she punched it. Oh, she didn't I... just step in front of it. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> thanks. You saved me. Uh, I mean, thanks. No problem. <clears throat> Can we do this later? Demon and all? Hmm. Hey, Isaiah? Yeah? Thanks for breaking the necklace. No problem. That's what friends are for. Thanks for being a great friend, then. Thank you, too. Oh, now she's got blood all over Isaiah's shirt. It's like, God damn it. These things happen. <laughs> Twenty. Um, what should we do now? I want to try to talk to that girl, but I think she might feel more comfortable if I was alone. You're trying to get rid of us? She could be bad. What if you got hurt? She doesn't look dangerous. In any way, I can handle it. In any way, I can handle it, I think. I'll come get you guys if I need help. You can't if you're dead or down slash knocked out or just being held down. I <clears throat> I trust you, Alice. <clears throat> Come on, Isaiah, let's go. Be careful. Is there anything else in the room that I can click on first? Nope. Thanks. Ghost. Hey. Who are you? I'm still Isol. You just broke my physical form. At least... I think that's my name. Being dead takes away a lot of your memories. I think your name might be Isabella. That's what it says under your portrait. Those are usually good reminders. Oh. Oh, you're right. You're right. Thanks. Um, no offense, but uh, how do I get rid of you now? You don't. I hunt your nightmare as Friday now. I'm not actually sure. I'm supposed to fulfill my last wish. But I don't remember what it was. Um, uh, I don't know either. Maybe I can help you remember? So, uh, what's your story? Finance. Finance? <laughs> Is that what you said? <clears throat> That's fiance. Fiance. No, no, there's no. Uh, yeah, there was. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did your parents make this game? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to look at you. I can only turn some more. Ah. So, um, were you ever seeing anyone? Uh, well, yes, I was engaged. Really? Tell me about it. Tell me all about it. The hot oh, pieces. okay. I was betrothed to my dear Clarence when I was 13. He was the most handsome man I've ever seen. What a rhyme. Aw, oh, that's sweet. 
I'm sure you were a cute couple. Hey, thanks. I loved him dearly. He was the light of my life. But then he got smallpox. And then he got big pox. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I knew he had smallpox, but none of the doctors wanted to help him because the entire town was convinced that he had stolen a necklace. But he didn't. I did. But no matter what I said, they refused to help. He died a week and a half after I realized what it was. I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. I locked myself in my room for a week. I was just so upset. I loved him, and now he was dead because no one would help him. Anyways, I guess that's when I became so scared. Hmm. You Red said Red. you were a murderer earlier. Is that true? Yes, in a way. After my fiancé died, I felt like illness was all around me, and I felt ob obligated to get rid of it somehow. A few weeks later, my younger brother sneezed, and I went completely out of control and kind of smothered him with a blanket. That's a pillow. Oh, blanket. oh my god, Isabella, why? I, I don't know. I was scared. He would get someone sick and upset and sad, and I guess I just did the first thing I thought of. After that, I it went completely off the rails. I was worried about what they did do to me if they found out, but I also felt like I did the right thing. I felt like I had to get rid of anyone who would inflict infect other people. I owed it to Clarence. I stabbed six people with sewage sewing scissors before I was caught and hanged. Mm. I thought it was going to list off a bunch of stuff she did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I stabbed six people. I cut the throat of this many. and So, uh. so how did you become a demon? I wanted to get Clarence back somehow. I'd do anything. I met the nymph, and she told me I could get Clarence back if I helped her. She told me if I could possess someone and get them to kill the town, she'd bring him back. So I then possessed you. That's terrible. Sorry, this is a weird question. Sorry, this is a weird question. But does the name Isabella Carver sound familiar to you? Yes, that's me. I thought so. You're kind of you're kind of an urban legend in this town. Really? Gosh, I didn't know. Oh, you're fucking dead, of course you know. Yep. I don't think anybody would know for an urban legend. Really. <coughs> the nymph tricked me. Arr! I'm so stupid. Of course she would trick me. You're not stupid. It's not your fault she tricked you. I, I shouldn't have trusted her. She gives off such a weird vibe, and I... Vibe check! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and, and now I've dragged you into this. Alice, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done anything. Now even more lives are ruined. I'm such a mess. Hmm. Hey, calm down. You're not a mess. You just... Um, you made bad choices. But that's okay. We all make mistakes. I want to point out too, with this mistakes thing, one thing I love about my um, intro to media instructor mm -hmm. is that he keeps emphasizing, he and Smith Rodden keep emphasizing, hey, you're allowed to make mistakes. Yeah. You're in school still. You can, you can make mistakes and don't make them again. <laughs> But you can make mistakes. Yeah, like, don't make the same mistake again, but it's okay to keep fucking up. You don't yeah. know everything yet. And just being like, you gotta learn it your own way at your yeah. own pace. I get that you had a really hard life, 
and you definitely made some mistakes, killed some people, but you unfortunately can't go back in time. You just have to own up to what you did and try to do better. You want to do better, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so, um, what we're going to do right now is fulfill your last wish. That seems like the best course of action. Do you remember your last wish? Um, uh, wait, actually, okay. <clears throat> so I just remembered that I actually traded in the whole fulfilling your last wish ghost thing in when I started working with the nymph. Elaborate, please. We don't have to worry about the whole last wish thing. Basically, the nymph said that if I possessed someone and killed the whole town, she would bring Clarence and I back to life. She obviously lied, but I think I remember there being a loophole. If she dies, I would be free to move on to the afterlife, and everyone she killed, even inadvertently, would come back to life. I see. How do I know you're telling the truth? There's no way for you to know for sure. I could be lying about everything. If you want someone to help you, why would you say that? Wow, that's super reassuring. Yeah. I know, but you really don't have anything to lose and everything to gain. That's true, though. She has her best friends. Mm. But the whole town's dead. You either fail and the nymph kills you, and you become her ghost servant, or you succeed and everyone comes back. Or, you don't do anything, and get killed and contracted to become the nymph's servant, but the choice is yours. So we got three options. Two are death and become nymph servant, mm -hmm. and one is kill nymph and everybody comes back. I go with uh, option B. Do nothing. Yeah. I guess you're right. We have to keep trying. <sighs> Perseverance. What would happen if I didn't help you? If you don't do anything, the nymph will find you and kill you. And contract your ghost as a servant, like me. Wow, okay. I don't really have much of a choice, huh? Not unless you actually want to spend an eternity with the nymph. Right. I guess I'll help you then. What is this contract you have with the nymph all about? When I died, I was still really heartbroken over Clarence. I met the nymph in the forest one day, and she said that she'd trade me for the whole last wish thing if I helped her possess someone to kill the entire town. She said she'd reward me by bringing Clarence and I back to life. I agreed to help her, but I couldn't find a suitable candidate for decades. And then the nymph told me about you. But I've had to had you kill everyone. And nothing's changed. Clarence is still dead, and I am too. I mean, counting Alice, you did miss three people. Yeah, and a cat. And a cat. Well, she lied to you. I know. We can't trust her again. No shit. Why were the deaths like that? Like, why was everyone's heart missing? Yeah. Well, to get a ghost, you need a soul. And souls mainly reside in the heart. So taking the hearts is the easiest way to get a ghost. Make sense? Uh, I guess. If you just needed the hearts, though, why were the crime scenes all wrecked? Do you know how hard it is to control a possessed body? Very. I'm pretty sure I bumped you into a wall a few times. And also, taking out a heart isn't exactly a clean operation. Yeah, no, no. It's not. I guess that explains why my head hurt after each murder. Why is she trying to kill the town? She wants everyone in town dead. 
so the rest of the world will be scared of her and bow down to her. I don't remember what comes after that. Probably more people dying. She will kill you and keep you and I around as ghost servants, though. That's bad. No shit, girl. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. I'll help you defeat the nymph. Okay, so how are we gonna kill the nymph? Solana's potion. The one that I broke over the snake? Yeah. Huh. Why? Solana figure out the nymph was trying to do a while ago. So the nymph took her voice. Well, made it really hard to understand. Solana's been trying to figure out how to stop her for a while, and she finally figured it out. Once we add the unicorn tears, it would be able to defeat the nymph. So, I just have to add the unicorn tears? Yep. <clears throat> Alright. You have obtained Solana's potion. Let's go. Can we make a video game and that's your reward sound? <laughs> Just every time you gain something. And instead of... Well, if it isn't my favorite ghost, I saw. And I see Alice is with you. Good job. Did she agree to the contract? You'll never get away with this. I guess not. Isa, I gave you that physical form so you could kill Alice. Or, at the very least, get her to surrender. You lied to me, is what you did. I bet you don't even know how to bring Clarence back. Uh, you're right, I don't. I hope that you'd realize that your little boyfriend was pointless and realize you could rule the world at my side. But I guess you're dumber than you than I thought. I'm not dumb. Yeah, Isabelle's not dumb. Take this! Alice throws the potion at the myth. <laughs> oh. Ha! Looks like Selena finally finished that potion. Too bad she wouldn't be able to see it work. Oh, come on. What do I have to do to get rid of you? It won't be that easy. Here, I feel kind of bad for you, so I'll let you fight me. Just so you feel like you're not giving up easily. You're not gonna win, though. Deal? Don't be so cocky. You're going down. I'm sure I am. Get ready. Come on, Alice. Teamwork. Yeah. Isabella, do the thing. What? Oh. Touches Alice. Alice's hand shoots Ecto Slime into the room. Onto. Oh. <coughs> what is this? <coughs> I'm so, why do you have to gang up on me? I thought we were friends. You manipulated me. Also, that's not my name. Alice, why do you have to tell her? It was much easier to lie to her. She deserves to know her own name. Get ready. I mean, I feel like teamwork's just the best yeah. option. Let's slime her! Right! Stop making a mess! So, how's Solana? Still speaking windings? I take it? Did you do that? Yeah, I was thinking earlier. Yeah! She knew too much. She was going to tell everyone about my plan. So I shut her up. 
Get ready. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Full health. And then get hit. Why are you doing this? What? Everything. Killing people, possessing people, using Isabella, all of it. I want a ghost army to wait on me, hand and foot. I'm tired of having to do everything myself. Why not get a bunch of ghosts to do it? So you were lazy. Yeah. Oh my god, there's, there's just so many things wrong with that plan. Get ready. Hey, Isabella, come on. Huh? Oh. Stop that. I see. Get ready. I just realized everything from her waist down is red. Yes. That's just like that. splotches. How are you handling all of this? Killing everyone, I mean? Not wrong. You get used to it. No? Shut up! Mistakes. Right. And like, yeah, you know, don't repeat the same mistakes. But how are you supposed to learn if you don't have mistakes? Exactly. If you don't screw up, then the only way to learn is to ask people to screw up, and even then, you're really just laughing at them rather than learning. <laughs> Usually. I mean, personally, I laugh at them. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But like, even the professionals who know everything didn't before and made mistakes. Hmm. Same mistakes you probably made. Anyway, we killed him. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's better. Oh, no. Oh, no. Doesn't look good for us. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, well, she comes out of nowhere. Oh boy! I'm. Hang on, Alice. Don't die. I'll. I'll do something. Um. Oh. Oh. How did you beat me? Teamwork. I guess stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. Good to know. <laughs> Isabella, what's going on? <coughs> it's res resetting. It's resetting. I'm going to the afterlife, finally. Your sister and friends should come back after this. Really? No, just kidding. <laughs> no, psych. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm running out of time. Um, thank you so much and good luck. Oh, don't touch anybody for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. And you can choose. And then I immediately touched people. Alice? What are you doing? I thought you went out. I want to. But I don't remember what it did. Don't do it. I'm pretty sure it just screwed everything up again. I'm pretty sure it did. So let's go ahead and be cautious. Okay. Sally! Uh, what's going on? Um, not much. So you don't remember what happened? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Can we go to the park? Sure. 
You're okay. Thank God. The nymph is just there. Yeah. That's the, not the nymph. The sorceress. E. Uh, this has got the Solana. Solana. This has got the crow. I knew you could do it. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you're okay too. Why are you guys so weird? Mm. Sally, you're back. So, you don't remember what happened? I never went anywhere. Yes! Hey. Hey. So, I guess everything's back to normal? For the most part, yes. It was smart of you to avoid touching anyone that was dead. Doing so could have messed up the timeline. It really did, too. Part of my nymph's timeline could have bled into this one. That'd be bad. That's what happened. It's probably safe to touch people now. I think this timeline has settled by now. Oh. So we're good now? As far as timelines go, yes. You, however, will probably have lasting side effects from this. I'm sure this whole charade has been mentally taxing for you. Please take care of yourself. You're a good kid. Thank you, Solana. All right, Sally, let's head home now. All right. Oh, because they died by the nymph's hands. Oh! And it was anybody who was killed by the nymph. Right. Yeah, as far as we knew, the parents just left. Mm. Mm. We weren't smart enough to figure out that they died from the nymph. Into effect, the team who must not go. Here are the names of the team who must not be named. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, um, there was like some sort of indie game contest, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and they won, right? Uh, I think. Either they won, or they won. Regardless, they were eighth graders. I think so. Interfectorum in Latin means killer, which adds to the whole, like, hints. Yeah. This game won grand prize at the second annual Girls Make the Games Demo Day, hosted at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, Mountain View California, on July 19th, 2015. After three weeks of hard work, five teams of young game developers hand-selected from the 36 teams from GMG camps across the country pitched their game prototypes to the fall to some industry veterans, uh, Kickstarter was put up to help the girls continue the game, hire professional artists, musicians, programmers, etc., and publish the complete version. And they raised $12,701 wow. out of a $10,000 goal. Nice. So, yeah. How cool of them. Yeah, overall it was, a, it was a good game. Yeah. Like, it's very obviously indie game. Mm -hmm. I actually got invest invested in the first episode. Yeah. I love the, the finger guns. Yeah. Very awkward. And all the eclairs. Yeah. Yeah, so, if nothing else, what you should take away from this is that it's okay to make mistakes. And this game is weird. That's it. With... 
a little too much foreshadowing for my taste, <laughs> but I get it. You like a little, a little more three shadow. This game really had more of a five shadow. Yeah, honestly. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to all four episodes of Infector. Finally. Yeah. Maybe just for fun, um, like while editing this, go back and do the other ending just to do it. Yeah. Just to show it. Yeah. See you guys in the next video, whatever it is we do. Have a happy whatever. And as always, hard. Ah.